Hi, Paris Slama here for the Guitar Shack, and today I want to introduce and review the Dan Electro Big Spender Spinning Speaker. Now, this is part of Dan Electro's Billionaire series of effects pedals, and what this particular one does is it emulates that Leslie rotating speaker that um, guys like Stereo Vaughn made very popular with a song like Cold Shot, and I'm sure, I, I, think, I seem to recall a Beatles song or two that use that effect, and a few other songs I can't remember any at the top of my head. So if you have some suggestions, please put them in the comments section. Now, a um, couple things to know right off the bat. Um, one, uh, you cannot use a 9-volt battery. You must use the 9-volt adapter. Two, uh, they want you to hit the switch about five or six times to uh, kind of clear up the popping sound, but when you hit it, there is a still a popping sound. It's not so drastic as when I first got it. Uh, the first time I took it out of the box and hit it like five or six times, it, the pop was really loud. Uh, it has gotten quieter as time uh, progressed. Also, um, you may not hear it through the uh, video, but even while this is cycling through and I'm not playing, I can still hear a whooshing sound coming through the amplifier. So if you're using like distortion and things like that which compress the sound um, it's you may hear that so keep that in mind it's not a particularly big pedal it's wedge shaped so uh, the velcro on the bottom of the pedal might be better than say straps striping it down with like uh, zip cord zip ties or something like that um, it's got a volume treble and speed knobs it has a, um, a ramp switch and so the volume is going to be a uh, kind of like a, um, a clean boost. So it, it makes the, it, you can kind of get, get some grip to your, into the sound while you're playing. Uh, the treble, uh, you can make it very sparkling or get a little darker. Uh, and there's one setting that kind of gives you a chorus effect by, and, it, and part of that is turning the treble down. The speed knob will either speed up or slow down the sound of the speaker rotation. And it'll, it'll like give you more of the effect or less of the effect. If it's slower, it'll kind of like a nice, subtle whooshing sound. Um, if it's faster, it's more, uh, much more pronounced. So on low setting, it almost not reminds me of a tremolo. So I'm going to try some of these settings out. They give you some suggestions. And I've got this set for a nice swirly boost, so kind of like a tremolo effect. Let me try this out. Uh, I'm using my 2001 uh, Eric Clapton Stratocaster and my PD Classic 30 amplifier. Uh, my mid-range boost is turned all the way to one, uh, and I've got my tone knob at 10, which expands the treble beyond the regular treble sounds. <laughs> effect or a tremolo effect it's pretty sweet um, it's useful and it doesn't seem to uh, be so present that it'd be distracting now I'm going to set this to what they're calling kind of like the Stereo Vaughan cold shot sound now the green light means that it is speeding up and getting to speed <laughs> Now I'm going to play something I wrote a while ago. seventh chords. Now it's slowing down a little bit. 
it takes a minute. Uh, the light indicator lets you know that these things are taking time. They'll be flashing. So it takes time to get those things. To... <laughs> rotating speaker speeding up to the speed I need it to be. modulation um, kind of if you're playing funk or uh, jazz or something like that. Now I'm going to turn up the speed much higher to kind of almost exaggerate the effect. In fact, yeah, I can hear the rotating speaker effect really strongly right now. I have the volume all the way up. Now I've got really high. This is not something you're going to, always going to use for every setting, every song. It's something you're going to use for maybe a signature song, uh, something you wrote, or some song uh, like Cold Shot, or um, something from the 60s that has that modulated sound. That's when you're going to probably going to use, use this effect. I don't know that it's something you would always have on your board all of the time, but that's up to you. It's, you know, it's your foot pedal. You can do whatever you want. Uh, some things to keep in mind, like I said, uh, you're going to hear some noise. You are going to hear the foot switch when it activates. Uh, you're not going to hear it, the effect work automatically. It's, it's, it does take time to ramp up, this, up to speed wherever you're, the setting is placed. And the other thing is, it's kind of wedge shaped. It's got round edges. So uh, Velcro straps or zip ties are not going to be very effective for keeping this on the pedal. It's going to slide around a little bit. Um, I use mine pretty sparingly. So when I do, I just leave it off the pedal. I have a longer cable and I just add it to the chain. Uh, if you do plan on putting it in your, in your chain permanently on the foot pedal, or excuse me, the, uh, the, the board, the effects board, um, 
your pedal board, uh, I would suggest kind of Velcro tape. That's probably your best bet. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to add them to the bottom. Any more information about uh, songs that use this, uh, some suggestions, or your experience with such devices, please feel free to add that information. I love learning more about that sort of thing. And uh, for the Guitar Shack, this is Paris Stahlheimer. Until next time, have a great day and keep on playing. Thank you.